twos in the fit. Just got back from delivering my load and um here in auction at the hometown. Show you guys um my previous vlog, go check it out. I went to Reno, I bought my amber lights for the sleeper, the chrome shop. Pretty much the basics. You need yourself some electrical tape, some of these butt connectors, and a good old, if you don't have the gasket for the back of these lights, you can put silicone gasket uh, maker. So far, I just took off the three bolts, and um, this light comes out, this one right here, pretty much screwdriver to take out the bolts. I go right here. I already took them out. Put them in my pocket because I don't know where to lay them. <laughs> and um, pretty much, let me see here. Give me a second, one man army. You could get like a knife. I don't have a flathead screwdriver on me. So I'm just gonna use my knife. Oh, my bad. Kind of just, there it is, bam, pop it out. And what you're gonna look for is your negative and your positive wires. Pretty much the issue I had last time, this is just the power. There's only one power line. Your ground is gonna be your screw through the lens. So this is just a power. So, you know, pull enough slack off. You can have, cut it at the very tip of that, you know. Don't cut it right here. Save yourself some room. So let me take this off, put it on, and I'll show you guys the before and after. So give me a second. All right, guys, you can see I took out the light, left the little wire exposed. Pretty much, you're gonna get your butt connect on there. There's a there's aluminum in the middle. You clip it down to it holds tight, pretty much. And on these lights, the black wire is low, red is high. How do I know that? Go to the back of your box. Black wire is lower, wire, red wire is high. Connect these up. I put a little electrical tape in. These come with a gasket already, but I put a little silicone on the inside to be on the safe side. That's step number one. I have a previous video that has like 4,000 views on it on um, before and after LED sleeper lights, but let me put this on to show you. As you can see, that's on over there. That looks whack. See the difference right now. Right, guys, you, you can see I put the buck connector connected and I put a little electrical tape on the side. Next step is to screw it in and I'll show you guys the outcome result. Bear with me. Well, what's going on guys? You can see I put the first LED light in. Obviously during the day, they're not as bright, but let me tell you, that's gonna make a nice reflection on the glowing from the taps, the stink. Get in the other fender soon and it'll pay a nice good of reflection, you know. 80 bucks will make a big difference in your truck, either whether you're a company or not. So yeah, like I said, you can never see during the day, but during the night, it should be really nice and bright. All right, on to the next one. Let's All get right, it guys, going. same process. You got three screws, take them out. Obviously this fucking wire, excuse my language, this wire is huge. It's gonna cut that off right here in the butt. Same shield, same process on the other side. Make sure the black has no exposing wire. This for the highs. Like I said, you got yourself some butt connectors, Noble, it's a brand, Noble wire and terminal. And um, just some regular wire cutters, electrical tape to secure it, and the butt light. So we got that one in, we got this one in, and let me install this and I'll give it to you guys right now, please. All right, what's going on everybody? Bam, finish the result, baby. This light's a little more in the shade right here. But it's, man, let me tell you, makes a big difference. It'll look really nice to say. I'm a little dirty right now, but recently I got all this polish. So when everything's wiped down and I, we have the fender, we're going to have to reinstall the bracket broke on the other one. So once we put those on, it's going to look clean, give you a nice, good reflection. It has a nice little, it looks stretched out, but in reality, it's just, if it was a studio sleeper like my other Kenworth, 
but as you can see pretty much the little things on the truck will make a difference you know i got the sleeper lights installed i always put stickers on my mirrors and these little lights at night these are glass lenses these are harley davidson lights to be exact i might change these out let me see here we're gonna install the chicken lights back on soon but i just want to show you this side because that side's more visible because it has a shade but as you can see they're on but anywho i appreciate you guys i mean it's a short little video on um how to do the, the sleeper lights to give you a recap of pretty much what you need the basics some wire cutters buck connectors electrical tape a screwdriver and like a flathead or knife to pop that off and if they don't have gaskets and the back of those led lights I always get the um any this is a blue brand rtv silicone gasket maker I pretty much use that on my other truck when i install them i had to put them on the two bottom but eventually i'm gonna add two more right here along the whole middle so anywho Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. It's the second video I done put on um, updating my sleeper lights. Hit drop a comment, like, and uh, hit that bell, subscribe. And uh, as always, keep trucking the GOA. Stay safe until the next one. I'll get at you guys. Peace.